Hello, everybody. I'm Wildwood 620. You all have seen me countless times. 1,210 times, if you want to be specific about it. Four years ago, I started posting videos on YouTube. I wasn't allowed on YouTube when I was growing up because my mom thought me and my brother would use it to look up stuff that was not appropriate or something. So I was never allowed to use YouTube before. And then one day my mom told me I could use YouTube. So I started watching YouTubers like Markiplier, LD Shadow Lady, I Has Cupquake. And then it inspired from there of me watching a bunch of different YouTubers. And I got hooked to watching YouTube videos every day. Buddy, do you ever stop making noise ever? Probably not. There's probably so many videos out there of him being loud in the background. Can you quit, please? Please. Alright. Let's do this. Buddy's hacking up a loogie. You're rolling a dramatic moment, buddy! How do you always know when I'm about to start talking? Buddy, get out of here. Buddy! <laughs> Alright. Buddy! To me to put into a compilation, most likely. Can you just stop? Please. She continues to make noise. Now oh, Peter's gonna lay down. He's gonna be good. After a while of watching YouTube videos, I started to want to really make YouTube videos myself. And I asked my mom, can I post videos on YouTube? And she said yes. And I was extremely surprised. The first video I made turned out pretty bad. Um, <laughs> as most do. Um, for those of you who are just starting out, they mostly turned out pretty bad. No one starts out with just a really good camera and editing software and stuff like that. Like you don't just buy all that stuff and then see if you want to start making videos. You start making videos, see if you like it. If it's not your thing, then you just stop. Or if you get really invested into it, you buy a better camera, you slowly upgrade. You don't just upgrade right away. You ease yourself into it to see if it's something you want to keep doing. And clearly, I did. I didn't think it would become as big a part of my life as it has been though. It's really something that I keep doing and just I don't exactly know the reason. Even like the slightest thing that'll happen in my everyday life, I'll be like, I should have had a camera. I should be recording this. Or random ideas will pop in my head, like I should make a skit video of that. And it was just, it was a thing that I was passionate about and I used to post videos on Facebook all the time and I enjoyed it. And no one besides friends or family would watch my videos because I wouldn't just share it publicly for anybody to see. It was just for my friends and my family to see. I didn't have like a Facebook page. It was just my, my normal Facebook of me. So I would just post random videos on there of me that I recorded with my tablets. And it was, my family and my friends liked them. They laughed at them like, oh, this is funny. I love this. I don't think I was allowed to watch YouTube until about 2013, maybe 2012. I don't exactly remember the time zone of that when I was allowed to watch YouTube. But I believe it was somewhere around 2012, 2013. The reason I started making videos is because I got a Webkin's Timberwolf for Christmas. And I had been wearing this Timberwolf for three years. And finally that Christmas I got him. And I also got a tablet that same year. I couldn't stop staring at this little Timberwolf all the time. And I was like, you know what? I want to make a video of him moving around and dancing and show my friends and family what he's like and how fluffy he is and how cute he is. So I made videos of him singing around and dancing. I had set it up on a pillow and it was flipped around the wrong way. So when I recorded it, it was upside down. And when I posted it on Facebook, the video was upside down. So when I watch it now in the future and I want to go back and watch it, I got to turn my head all the way upside down. But yeah, it's just a little video of Rocky dancing to a song on the radio. Like that, that's all it was. And I just, I watched it over and over again. I was like, I just love watching him hop around. And then I was like, you know what? What if other people like watching him hop around? So I made more videos of Rocky dancing to stuff. And, and then it transitioned to me and Kaylee making them dance to stuff and then be making them do like skit stuff uh and just doing random stuff on facebook with webkins after a while after that and it was all because of this guy this guy was the one who started me making videos in general uh literally did i know when i was praying for those three years to get this timber wolf i didn't know that it was gonna lead to a lifelong love of making videos and lead me to this point because this just goes to show you, you never know what thing you want in life or what thing you want to slightly do just a little bit or just thing that you've been wanting for like three years is going to lead to something that you'll do for even longer than three years. Not a part of me even once thought that this would lead to me making YouTube videos and basically doing what I love to do in the whole world. Like my favorite thing in the whole world is making videos and just him. This little tiny stuffed animal led to this. The thing you're watching right now led to all of this. And it's so amazing to me. And I did have this big speech prepared and I wrote it all out. But I just, it didn't feel like something I would, you know, say. It didn't feel personal. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna update it a little bit. I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna still keep in some of the stuff that I really feel like I should talk about in this video, but change it up to the way that I would just speak normally. <laughs> For the remainder of this video, I will keep him up here if he does not fall over and over again and get on my nerves. <laughs> also, I got my hair done today. I am recording this the day before my YouTube anniversary. When I decided to get my hair done, I didn't even know. I completely forgot my YouTube anniversary was coming up. And my mom was like, isn't your uh, YouTube anniversary coming up, you know, on the 20th? And I was like, holy crap it is. Yeah, I, for I completely forgot. And I was like, wow, this haircut's like just in time to make the video for it, isn't it? And like, look at it. And look how short it is though. I cut it, like, this is the shortest my hair's probably ever been. And to you guys, it's like, that's not even a little bit short. To me, this is short, okay? Like, I, don't, I don't think you guys can see. It used to go all the way like to down here. And I was like, you know what? I want to cut it short so I can headbang easier. Totally worth it! It's not very hard to fix this either. It's just, you go to the side shave and you, there you go. <laughs> Except the back over here has got to be fixed. It's gonna bug me the whole video when I watch this back and I see a strand of hair that is out of place. I remember in the montage last year, I decided I was going to shave this out of my head, but I didn't know if I was going to or not. So I didn't specify in the video what I was planning on doing that would have lined up perfectly with my YouTube anniversary, but it was the side shave. And I also started Wildcard season two around that time and it was the best time. And now it's almost been, like it's been a year since that. Since I started Wildcraft season two, since I shaved the side of my head, like I can't, I can't believe this. <laughs> I've grown so much over my time on YouTube and I can only assume how much I'm gonna grow four more years from now. Like it's, it blows my mind. Like how much will I have changed in four more years? If I've changed this much in four years, imagine four more years. Like how much am I gonna change? How much is my life gonna be different? Self? Four years from now, watch this video back and you tell me how much I've changed. Cause I, I can only imagine. The first videos I ever made on my YouTube were Webkin's videos, obviously, because the first ever videos I ever made were of Rocky and he's a Webkin's and I got obsessed with making videos of my Webkin's. Buddy is underneath my tripod. What are you doing? Come here. Come on. Come on. Ugh. There's a moose. I call Buddy a moose because he's got really long legs and he tramples everything. Yeah, you do because you know, moose are large and they trample things because they're massive. Go on, oh, he fell off the bed <laughs> and landed on my hand and scratched it. Are you gonna start sassing me on camera? You're messing up the cover. This is why we can't have nice things. Come on. Oh, okay, there you go. Walk in that door because I know someone can come knock on it and be like, I wanna come in here. I'm like, no, I'm making a video. Rocking, yeah. The first ever videos I started making were of Webkin's and then also Toontown were written because it was just, it was, I was getting into it a lot back then, so I started making videos of it. The only recorder I had at the time was EasyVid, and also back then I wasn't allowed to post videos on YouTube longer than 15 minutes, I believe. I think I made my first ever YouTube video an extra time before the one I posted because I made one that was like 40 minutes long, and it's like, you cannot post this. You can only post m videos that are 15 minutes long, and I was like, I gotta record all this crap again because I can't edit it with an editor, so I gotta go record it all again. But I just felt like making a video that day, so I did it anyway. I didn't care about tablet problems. I didn't care about YouTube not letting me upload a longer video. I just did it. <laughs> so Kelly introduced me to a game called Animal Jam and all she had to say was, you can be a wolf. Next thing you know, my fingers were Googling so fast that I couldn't even see the words I was typing. I ended up typing Animal Ham, but I searched it anyway. And then me and her played Animal Jam and you know, goofed around on there a lot, drove people crazy like we do in real life. And after that, I started playing Animal Jam in my free time just cause it was a fun game at the time for me. And I was like, like the trading and stuff like that. And I wanted to get all this stuff and it was fun. And then I started making videos of it. And I don't know, I just started liking playing the game in videos too. And that it just, spiraled after that to me liking recording games which I didn't ever think I would like doing I didn't really know what I was gonna do on YouTube for a very long time for a while I didn't know what I was gonna do on YouTube I didn't know if I was gonna stick with Webkin's videos or do gaming stuff or do vlogs or anything like that I didn't really know what I was gonna do I didn't have a set plan of I'm gonna be a vlogger I'm gonna be a gamer I didn't know and I still don't really know because I'm not really one set thing like I play video games I do in real life videos I do skits so what am I I just started calling myself a youtuber because I did everything I basically recorded my life and also recorded games because I wanted to so after I finally figured out what I was going to do on YouTube, which is basically just everything, vlogs and gaming and whatever I wanted to do at the time, I met my internet best friends on live streams. 
Which actually, when I'm recording this, it's Nacho's birthday. So happy birthday, Nacho, even though I'm a day late. <laughs> Me and my friends have become distant over the years, but that's what I expected when you meet someone online and you talk all the time, every single day, spend every waking minute together, Eventually, you're gonna drift apart. That doesn't mean you're not friends anymore. It just means, you know, people get busy. We have lives, you know, we just start doing things. We all do our own thing, but we also, you know, talk to each other sometimes. It's, we've become a group of friends, you know, that's what happens. You don't have to talk to your friends every single day for you guys to be friends. That's not how friendship works. I can safely say that years don't matter. How much you guys talk doesn't matter. You're still friends. That's the way it is. That's the way it's gonna stay. You're not getting rid of me. I will stay in your life forever and haunt your dreams. So if any of the wild ones are watching this, I hope you guys know that I'm still your friend and you can still come talk to me about stuff or if you just want to come and hang out. We're still friends and I'm always going to consider us friends. No matter what you guys go on and do in your lives, however many new friends you meet, I hope they're good to you. You can always come to me and talk to me. I'll always be here. Always be trapped in this room for the rest of my life. But yeah, over the years I've met some friends. I've, I've had a lot of laughs. It's my escape, it's my happy place, it's my fun place, it's my me place. It's where I am me the most. Most people say, oh, people just put up a face for, you know, YouTube videos or being on camera. No, I'm the opposite. I put up a face when I'm in front of people and I don't know what to do. When I'm in front of a camera, I am more myself in front of a camera than I am anywhere else. I'm not sure why that's a thing. I just, it just is. I am just, I am more me talking to this lens than I am talking to a person. Which is weird because I am talking to people. I'm just not face to face with you. I'm face to face with the camera. I remember me and Fuzzy used to uh, play on a server called Mindplex. It was the first ever online server I had ever played on Minecraft when I first started playing the game. And me and Fuzzy uh, started like doing stuff on there and playing mini games and making videos on there and climbing the hub tree was our favorite thing to do. And it just helped us bond our friendship a lot more. And then one day we got a realm. And we did a lot of stuff on there too. We started out doing survival stuff on there, but then we just quickly were like, nah, let's just build stuff in creative. And we just built like a bunch of houses and like a pet shop and stuff like that. We even did a little role plays on there. Like, oh, us saving the pet shop or us, you know, being superheroes. It was a thing that we did. I still remember like the layout of the realm at the back of my hand. Like I remember everything. I can picture it in my mind, everything, what it looked like and the layout of my house and everything. It was, I miss it on there a lot sometimes. I don't know, I just miss making videos with my friends and being silly and stupid and having fun. And not, not even just making videos, but just playing on Minecraft with them and making the stupid role plays and doing stupid stuff. And I just missed it. And it's like, if it's like a time I'll never get back, you know? And I just, I didn't take it for granted back then either. Like, Fuzzy taught me basically how to play Minecraft and taught me everything I know. And then I started learning like how to get mods and I made Wildcraft and it was just, it led me to where I am now and I just, I look back and I see all the little things that led me to this path, to this life on YouTube, to everything that I'm doing right now. One day I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna remember this bedroom and remember sitting here making videos and it. And I'm gonna like react to this video one day in the future with like my really awesome camera, it better be awesome, and awesome lighting and like an office that I record in in my house or my apartment or wherever I live with my husky and it's gonna be it's gonna be a big, like, just moment where I look back on this video and I'm like, that bedroom, that camera, that microphone, like, all this, th this chair. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a big deal to see how far I've come. Self, in the future, if you're watching this, I am proud of you for pushing through whatever you push through to get to the point you are now. Because I've already had to push through so much crap, guys. Just to be the person I am today. Everybody gotta push through all this crap to get to the person they wanna be and the person they're supposed to be. So, future self, any crap you had to push through, just know that it was worth it. And also, future self, do I get a husky? Because I better. And if you don't have one yet, get one right now. <laughs> this video has been all over the place because I never know what to say in these videos. Thank you. That's all I ever know to say in these videos, is thank you. Because just like my friends and just like everyone in my life, my pack, my subscribers, you guys have motivated me just as much as anybody else in my life. Even though I've never even seen your faces in real life or know you really at all. I feel like you guys have always supported me from the very beginning when I didn't even have a clue of what I was gonna do on YouTube or why I was on it. Like, it was just like, you guys supported me. Like, I'm proud of you, you're doing good. Like, yeah, keep it up, keep up the good work. And you guys still do that now. You still tell me that I'm doing good and keep up the good work and keep being awesome and keep making people happy. I don't know, for a while it felt like just a big weight on my shoulders, like I gotta post a video 
every single Monday and Thursday and Saturday and then I cut back Saturdays and it still feels like I'm stressed about it. Just any video at all that you guys watch of mine, the editing alone, the me alone talking in it, it shows you guys how much I care. Whenever I post a video, whatever kind of video, it's just to show that I'm there for you. In every video of mine, the one thing I want you guys to take from it is that I will always be here for you and that you can always come to me if you need advice, you need help, you have a question, I'm always gonna be here and you're never getting rid of me. I may only have a couple friends that I talk to all the time in real life and online, but you guys are my friends too. All of you, every single one of you. Every, every person watching this video right now, you're my friend. And I would do whatever I can for you guys just as much as I will for anybody else in my life. Cause I care so much about you guys and I want only the best for you. And that comes from God, not me. He is using me as a vessel I'm just the vessel. <laughs> God wants me to tell someone out there right now that whatever is going on in your life, whatever is upsetting you, whatever is destroying you and breaking you in a million pieces, that he's gonna put you back together. It won't happen all at once. You won't even really see it happen. Just over time, you'll just see, you'll look back and you'll see what he did. Have faith through the broken times, through the times where you don't know what to do, through the times where Everything kind of feels like it's not making any sense and why would he do this and all this. You know what this ring on my thumb has always said? If you guys have ever seen it in videos, you know what it says? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So whatever's going on, whatever's breaking you, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Keep being creative and keep being you. Because no matter what a person does, what a person says, how a person acts, they can never change who you are or who you're becoming. Thank you guys for four years on YouTube. I know some of you are gonna be like, four years and you only have 400 subs? Man, you must suck. The subs and the money and the fame and the likes and the views, they were never what I was in it for. I had three subs for a while and I kept making videos even though no one was watching them. It was just about being there for people if they happen to stumble across my channel and find a video and just randomly watch it and laugh at it, that was what I was there for. I don't ever expect people to sub to me or watch every single one of my videos to be a true fan. If you've ever watched any single one of my videos, I already consider you one of my best friends. It means so much to me when a person watches any one of my videos. Not even my YouTube videos, but any video I ever make, ever. If you've ever watched any single one of my videos, I wanna thank you because you are the reason I'm still making videos today and you're the reason I keep doing this even though I'm never gonna get paid for it and I'm never probably ever gonna get that many subs for it or get that popular for it. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I have no intention on ever getting like a thousand subs or a million subs. I just wanna keep being me and keep doing what I like to do. I let video upload schedules and stuff like that get to me. Like when I was supposed to post a video, like on Mondays, on Saturdays, like stuff like that. And then I cut out Saturdays and made him streams only, but I still haven't streamed in a while. When you're watching this, we didn't post a Five Nights Fridays last Friday or the Friday before that. And it drove me crazy. Like, oh, we missed Fridays and I'm gonna have to post them in November. And I think that's the reason why I'm, I lose motivation because I just don't post when I'm supposed to and then it drives me crazy and I feel like I shouldn't post at all. But I remember I never used to have schedules when I posted videos. I would just post like five videos back to back. I won't do that now, but you know. Also, little tiny update. The reason we didn't post Five Nights Fridays last Friday or this Friday was because Sammy got sick and also my recorder stopped working and started having like an audio delay and I had to spend days, weeks, trying to fix it. And then when I finally thought I fixed it, Sammy got sick, but it turned out I didn't fix it. So then I actually fixed it and now Sammy is still sick and we can't record anything. So Five Nights Fridays are gonna start going up in Fridays in November probably. Uh, and we'll probably have to finish up Five Nights Fridays in November. But if you're binge watching all the Five Nights Fridays in the future, then it won't make a difference because there's gonna be five episodes and then five more episodes in 2018. At least it's still in 2018, okay? This is what we're gonna start doing if we miss Fridays in October. We're gonna just post them in November. Also, Five Nights at Freddy's will be coming back very soon. It got delayed because I lost motivation and then my recorder stopped working when I actually was motivated to record a video, so I'm sorry. And if it's not back within two weeks, start nagging me because I wanna get it up within this week coming up or the next. So if those two weeks go by and there's still no Five Nights at Freddy's, spam me. 
post Five Nights at Freddy's on this video. Not any video I've posted recently, but this one as a reminder. Anyway, you guys keep being awesome. I'll keep doing what I do and hoping it turns out well. And I'll keep pushing through stuff. If it means I can get to the person I finally want to be and make as many people happy as I think I'm going to make people happy in the future, then I'm going to keep pushing through. So thank you guys for four very awesome years on YouTube. And here's to another year, or maybe four more years on YouTube. I'm so grateful to even have a, even a little bit of people watching my videos. It feels so weird that I ever thought that I would never get any people watching my videos. Like back when I used to make videos in 2014, I I only had three subs and I felt like I would never get any more. And then one day I did my first live stream and it just, I got 12. And then I was like, oh crap, I'm getting subs. Wow. And I kept doing more streams and making random videos and I started getting more subs. And now here I am being able to make pretty decent thumbnails, edit videos pretty well, and I'm learning new things every day, and it just makes me so proud of who I've become and what I've watched all of us accomplish on my channel. Going back and just scrolling on my old videos makes me so happy. Like, I see, like, dimensions. I see, don't you just hate it when? I see doing things with duct-taped hands and stuff. I see, how dare you? I see, I see mystical moonlight. I see wildcraft. I see... Deep Sea Divers, I see, I see Duck Game, I see Ultimate Chicken Horse, I see Five Nights at Freddy's, I see all these games and all these people that I play games with and make videos with and it makes me so proud that this is what I'm doing right now. Like most people are, are out getting jobs. Oh, I'm getting married. Oh, I have a girlfriend. Oh, I have a boyfriend. Like, this is what I'm doing. I'm making videos on the internet for fun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I just think it's cool no matter what I'm doing in my life, YouTube and this will always be a part of it. And I'm just so excited to see how many videos I can make and how many I'm gonna be so proud of. And I'm gonna look back on this one or other videos before this one and be so excited and so proud of myself. I'm pushing forward to get to that point, to get to the point where I'm so proud of what I've done and who I am and what you guys have done and what we've created and I'm just so excited for the future and I know that's gonna happen. He's told me that's what's gonna happen. I can't wait and I hope you guys stick with me for the ride because I would love if most of you guys tagged along. It's gonna be a fun ride. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a bit of just all over the place mess and I just kept talking about random stuff but that's all these videos ever are. <laughs> that's all all my videos ever are. Wow. Mind blown. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a weird one like all of them. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully I can get it up in time tomorrow for my YouTube anniversary. It might come out until very late, but I'm sorry. In case you guys saw this in Dimensions and were wondering what it was, I got a mask with a moving jaw. See? Nah, nah, nah. And I'm gonna wear it in some videos in Halloween because I wanted a costume to wear. I also have this bat hoodie coming, but I don't know when it's gonna get here. It's like a little bat hoodie with little bat ears. And then the sleeves had the little bat wings on them, so I can like flap my wings. <laughs> I don't know. That that's just what I wanted for Halloween was this mask and the uh, the hoodie. So that's all I got. But so yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this mask, my horse mask, my onesies, and stuff like that in future videos coming up in webcam videos mainly. So yeah. Keep an eye out for that. <laughs> also, new Wildcraft coming out on Monday. I hope you guys are excited for it as much as I am. I am so happy to be recording Wildcraft again. It's been a while. Um, I update you guys in the video a little bit, but not that much, so I'll give you a bigger update here. I've just been into recording other games right now and mini games on Minecraft instead of Wildcraft. I haven't really been wanting to do a series series. And I also got really invested into Deep Sea Divers, so it's been a little bit since I've recorded Wildcraft. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. I'm Wild. Woo! 6200. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Okay, Rocky, you can get off my head now. Um, Rocky, you can, you can get off my head now. Rocky, ah, ah. Yeah, I'm weird, but my hair looks on point, doesn't it? Yeah.